Leviticus chapter 22. Let me start by just reading the first two verses. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and his sons, these are the priests, that they separate themselves from the holy things of the children of Israel, and that they do not profane my holy name by what they dedicate to me. I am the Lord. So this chapter is all about what's dedicated to the Lord, offerings and guidelines about accepting them and receiving them. One of the directives that God has regarding offerings was that any person that was unclean should be turned away. Skin disease, infection, uncleanliness means you're not able to participate in offerings. It's a privilege. It's holy. It's a way you give to the Lord. So the priests are to follow the rules very closely and not to make any exceptions whatsoever. An offering that's unacceptable is one that would be defective, a deformed animal, sick or weak, nothing inferior, nothing injured. See, here's the principle. God is worthy of our best. A true offering, a sacrifice, not something that we can't use or means very little to us. Serving the Lord is worthy of our best and that which is of real significant value. Listen to these verses as we come to the end of chapter 22. And it says this, it says, you shall not profane my holy name, but I will be hallowed among the children of Israel. I am the Lord who sanctifies you, who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I am the Lord. There was a time in Samuel, even when David was going to make an offering to the Lord on a threshing floor and this king tried to just give him the floor and give him the sacrifice. And David said, no, I'm, I'm going to pay for it. He said, would I give something to the Lord that cost me nothing? And that's the principle here in Leviticus chapter 22. What we give to the Lord, ourselves, our offerings, our work, our service, our lives. Well, it should mean something. It should cost us something. It should be worthy because the Lord is worthy. And that's the principle. That's the dynamic here behind Leviticus chapter 22, that our God who delivers us, who saves us, who provides for us is worthy of an acceptable offering sacrifice that really costs us something.